calendar, at least spring is less than a week away. But that is likely a tough sell for some in our state, buried under 20 inches of snow after yesterday's nor'easter. News 8's Stephanie Simone has the latest now from Griswold. This was the scene all over eastern Connecticut, and you could see it just really piled up here. Luckily, this is light, fluffy snow, so it made cleanup easier. It's the most wonderful time of the year. That's only if you're a fan of mid-March snow. Yes, I love it. Hope for another foot next week. It looks like Christmas right now. He would know. The Gear family owns a Christmas tree farm, and they spend their morning doing this. The top, you know, foot or so is nice and soft, but underneath it's very heavy. How did you get roped <laughs> into doing all this shoveling? <laughs> I, sometimes I wonder that myself. Down in Jewett City, we found Raven Cologne clearing off her boss's car. Are you trying to get employee of the year? No, I'm just doing my job. She's a great boss, and I appreciate everything she does, so I might as well just show it back. In parts of the state, they saw close to two feet of snow and buried cars and weighed down branches. Tom Sweet likes it on his trees. He makes maple syrup. Actually, snow is good. It's like uh, Mother Nature forms a blanket of snow on the ground and keeps the trees cool, so the sap, so the sap season will last longer. Back at the other tree farm, they're shoveling today just to dig in the dirt once all this melts. It looks pretty, but it's a lot of work. <laughs> How are you going to plant the trees? Well, as soon as the snow melts and the frost comes out of the ground, we'll be planting. With the sun coming out, it won't last long. You know, two weeks from now, it could be 70 degrees. And even though a lot of people don't like seeing this much snow on March 14th, just keep in mind it's only 286 days until we're going to need one of these. In Grizzled, Stephanie Simone, News 8.